Hello, welcome back to another video. I've had COVID, but uh, I'll come to that. First of all, we've got to get some fuel, go to a car boot. Saturday car boot, six o'clock, nearly six o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, let's get into it. <coughs> How much that, mate? Two quid, mate. Two quid. How much is this? Three Thank you, sorry, right, thanks right, a lot. I'm just this. Yeah, I'll take that please. How much is the skateboard? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll take that please.
How is that place? Where do you want to start? You but this one here? Yeah. I'm looking six pound for that one. That is perfect. What do you want six. Has it got a power cable with it? Sorry? Has it got a power cable? It's what? Has it got a power lead? Oh yes, it's got a power lead, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is perfect working water. <clears throat> You got change of a twenty. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take that, please. Uh, it's, um, it's four. There's another one there. Small one. Yes, yeah, a bit small. Thank you. Thank you. So it thanks a lot. They're good boot tools. Yeah. They're uh, two cap, they're uh, steel two caps. So they're Can't see the size. Um, I'm not sure what the size of these are. There's no size. <laughs> they're they're Vibran uh, uh, soles, yeah. so that's the quality. I just don't know what size they are. Has it not got them on the. How much is the uh, box? How much are we? 30. 30. Someone needs to mix harvest as well. That's the tissue, yeah, good. Okay. Those records down that end. Yeah, yeah, sure. How much are they? Uh, uh, the uh, Alpesa are three pounds, Sandra's are a pound. Uh, okay. Yeah, they're three pounds. Yeah,
Yeah, uh, what would you do on 13? Huh? Thir what would you do on 13? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, uh, do it for 35. 35. 30? Go on in. Go on. Tuck. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. And I'm back in the shop. Man, oh man. What a, a two weeks it has been. COVID. Whew. Yeah, I got COVID. It was isolating. And I think I think I got it pretty bad to be fair. I was uh just couldn't do anything. Couldn't do, couldn't lift my hands to type. It was just so I was just sitting there looking out the window for like hours, just not wanting to do anything. It's hot, it's cold, sweating. I'd wake up in the night, my hair would be wet. Uh, oh, and the diarrhea. Oh, the diarrhea. Don't speak to me about the diarrhea. That's one thing they don't really say diarrhea. Whew. Um, but the symptoms have, has, have gone just as quick as they came. Like my chest, I couldn't, I was struggling to breathe and you get to a point in the night, you know, it's like four in the morning, you're like, what, you know, what point do you, do you think, is this going to get worse? Do you, are you going to have to call an ambulance? Do you, need, do you need oxygen? You know, you don't, I don't, you don't know your oxygen levels unless you've got one of them machines. So yeah, we got through it. We got there. Um... It's affected the business definitely because I had to close the shop. Um, luckily, um, I had a lot of help because my parcel had been stacking up. I put, I put my uh, shop in holiday mode, um, but the, the sales are still coming through, so that was fine. Um, so, yeah, I had a lot of help with parcels. Um, but, yeah, my energy levels aren't 100%. But I've um, got no symptoms at all now. My chest is fine. I've got no cough. That just disappeared. Um, so, yeah, which is why I've been a bit quiet. But I'm back from outer space. Da, 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 da. Anyway, as with tradition, 
what has sold recently. There's not that much to show, really. It's just this. Picked this up not too long ago. It was this and a um, um, a snow globe. Uh, not, the, not made before Christmas level. snow globe. I did think it was going to go before Halloween. It didn't. But it is also a Christmas set. I keep forgetting that. It was the Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I, I got 40 quid for it. I can't remember. It was a deal. I think I might, I might have paid 20 to 30 for the um, snow globe and this. Um, and this does have a price tag on of £25. So I've got £5 more than retail. Uh, top of my head, what else I sold? I've sold some big records. I sold John Coltrane Love Supreme for £100. And a very rare, very obscure um, Jaffray Music School. Very rare. Um, I put it on for 250 quid. Had an offer of 160 and I took that. It probably, I think it owes me 60 pence. It was in with that massive haul of stuff. Uh, records I had a few months ago now so um, that's it I'm well into profit on that um, and it's really good to that was um, picked out for me um, and, and said this is a rare record so appreciate that um, oh, thank you. hello oh hi VN mode how are you long time no speak uh, some Depeche Mode records on the music wall wouldn't go miss. Okay. Want some Depeche Mode records on the music wall? Are you ready? There we are. Bit of Depeche Mode. Um, and so it's a bit out of breath. Let's get into today's haul. Um, yeah, it's pretty big, really. I haven't been to that car boot for a long time um, and it's mainly just down to uh, Saturdays getting the shop open and it's I get a little bit of a line because you know you get to a point where you need a rest but got there today and yeah um, let's go through what we got. Uh, Powder fiver for this, it's not new, I thought it was because it has been used um, but the condition is still very nice. Wildcats East High School, Disney High School Musical, yeah. And then another one, a retro, proper retro, 90s. Go for it on the uh, back. Um, with these, I've sold them before. You, you kind of just have to go higher with them. Um, because a lot of the time, you just can't find this particular brand but I haven't checked yet so I can't be too sure bit of a uh, wear on the back but um yeah I remember having these big fat ones in the 90s um still plenty of wear on the wheels so yeah I think what did I pay for that I think I paid a five on that as well um then yeah six pound for this wasn't gonna haggle any lower could have got fiver but um yeah, pretty certain it worked. Looks to be in a good condition. Um, yeah, not bad for um, six pounds. And then this was three quid. Sold something similar recently. This has got like a hard case. Uh, I think it's Toyota. Oh yeah, Toyota. Yeah, so it's a Toyota car cleaning kit so uh pay three pound for that i pay four pound for these sketches so 20 25 on them and then two pound for this <laughs> so i should normally get aim for about 35 on these which i reckon will probably sell next year now but uh yeah very easy to uh store this is going the furniture village section of the shop um, really nice pattern, clean as well. Uh, nice condition for something of that age. And then records. So these are three quid each, which were more than like 
what are you what I like to pay at a car boot. But there was some very unusual stuff. Um taking away this one, best of the lettermen. There was some really good stuff here. Um I think I've had that before. But then it's like a lot of um like African music, world music. Um I went to McDonald's after the car boot and I was just scanning these into Discogs. And like some of these, 15, 20 quids. There's one worth 60 quid. Um, not the like best of the Crusaders. Austeri Ebenezer Obey. And I, it's something I don't have in the shop, any world music. But um, I put them, a lot of these into Discogs. And what a fantastic deal on some of these records. Um, I have to try and get some of the prices up. Ebenezer Obey in London. Ebenezer Obey. Chief Inyang Henshaw and his top 10 aces. This is the £60 worth. Uh, one Birth of a Nation, Bafara. Really nice condition as well. And it's numbered 46. Um, <clears throat> don't know if it's a spoken word, a bit of music maybe, I'm not sure. But this could, this might have to be an eBay, it's a very, very specific for a high price as well. And then um, some Funk and Soul, Totally Connected T Connection, and not T Connection. Um, so I paid 30 quid for them, which... Again, like, I didn't know the price on any of them until I got back to the car. Uh, so, yeah, it was, hopefully it works out. Obviously, I've got to sell them. Um, but, yeah, world music. But do people do look for world music. I think the, the reason is a lot of samples used, but from that sort of music in uh, modern day um, tracks and stuff like that, so... People like to hunt them down and they're bloody expensive. So I think they're looking for bargains to sell themselves. So thanks for holding out for the, la for, for the last few weeks. It's been ages since a car boot video at least. Um, so I appreciate it. And uh, let's do a fashion show.